welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it is vlog day today. So happy to see every single one of you. So last time we did our vlog, we were getting these keychains started here and we're going to go ahead and get those finished up today. I was just showing you the mat that I'm using here. This is just a silicone dish drying mat and I, I don't know if you guys remember the last vlog I did, but the hardware on these keychains was kind of getting in the way, but this mat really helps out with that hardware kind of going down inside of the, the divots there. So great for little epoxy crafts just like this. So I went on to create a Fabrica and I found some little decals. This one says Small Business Mama and I just cut that out in a teal vinyl, a permanent teal vinyl. There we go. Oh my goodness. And the other one says Be Kind Your Mind. Again, that's in a permanent white vinyl. But you can also, because these ones are specially made for motel keychains, you know, and it's shaped already for motel keychains, but you can add your own stuff as well. It doesn't have to, you know, be this. You can make up something yourself. So I'm going to show you guys here at the end how to use that warp tool in your Cricut Design Space. I don't know if you guys have used that yet, but I'm going to show you guys how to, it's really simple, you know. Uh, it's really simple. I know you guys got this. So the first thing I'm going to do before I add these particular decals is I'm going to flip it over and I am actually sanding the inside of the key. So if you guys remember, I did glitter on one side and this side's empty. So this side I am going to put the decal in and then I'm going to epoxy over top of them. And then the other ones I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be putting rhinestones on them and putting a decal on the glitter side. So again, we'll go over that here in a minute. So we're just gonna move forward with these ones. So before I get that stuck down, I'm gonna show you guys what I did to this because there were certain things I didn't want in it. So after I uploaded it, I went ahead and I ungrouped my decal and I got rid of the little heart here. And I'm also gonna get rid of these little stars that are on the side because I already know that those are not going to cut properly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those now. And I kind of like the little swirl on the bottom, so I'm actually going to highlight it and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to add it to the A on the top of the quote here. So kind of even out this whole look here with one at the top and one at the bottom. And after I get that all adjusted, I'm going to highlight everything all together and I'm going, going to go ahead, there we go, and weld it so that way it cuts in one fluid piece. And then I'm going to get that size down to the size that I need. I think, what did I do? I think it was a little over one inch in width and a little over two inches in height is what I ended up cutting everything at. So after I cut everything out and I gave it a little sanding on the inside, I forgot to do that on, on the glitter side last week, sorry. <laughs> I was just so excited to get these started. After I sanded it a little bit, I went ahead and I wiped it out with just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You just want to be careful. Uh, rubbing alcohol could crack acrylic, so you definitely don't want to like load it up with your rubbing alcohol. I just did like a light mist and wiped it off. Good to go. So now all that's left to do is go ahead and apply your decals down into that space there that you would like to apply it. And there we go, we have those two made up now. And I'm, I am going to epoxy the inside of those. I'm not gonna do it yet because I want to rhinestone first and you know I don't wanna be sitting out here with my, my uh, drying epoxy. So I'm gonna do my rhinestoning first and then I'll put the epoxy on the inside of those particular ones. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to these guys. So I have this purple here and I have these rhinestones here that I'm gonna go ahead and use. This is from Flynn's sister's supply shop. Um, I can't I think it was just like a special mix that she made. I thought those went really well with that. And I thought about doing these mermaid tears, but I actually ended up changing my mind and I used something else. I can't remember the name of it. There we go. Danica Fender. There we go. That, <laughs> that's what I'm going to use. So we're going to add rhinestones on the opposite side of these ones. So again, I'm gonna sand the insides of my keychains where the rhinestones are gonna go. I have some Q-tips to spread out my glue. I'm using my liquid fusion. I have all my supplies here and we're gonna go ahead and get that going. So I just did the scatter method. That's honestly, guys, really the only method I know, <laughs> I know to do. <laughs> I haven't really tried anything else, you know. I hadn't really had the time to do rhinestoning. I really haven't. It, it takes a lot longer than than anything else. I still have my tumbler over here. You guys remember that tumbler I started? It's still sitting over there. I really need to get that finished. <laughs> At some point I will, but as you see, I just lay my glue down. I go ahead and smear it around with my Q-tip there, and I get the the things placed down with my my little picker so this is what I have so far so pretty this really didn't take that long either this only took me probably about 15 minutes to do so this is an extremely quick and easy project to do so that's one done 
And this is my other one that I'm going to go ahead and get done to. This was a really beautiful mix. It has like opals. It has all kinds of different colors. A navy, an opal color, pinks, um, what is it, like a burgundy and a brown. Really pretty. And I really like how it went with the purple on the other, the purple glitter on the other side. I like how that all went together. So before I add my decals to this, I'm going to go ahead and let these sit overnight so that way I know that those beads are nice and stuck down. I don't want anything popping out as I'm trying to fuss with my decal on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and let those dry overnight. And now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put my epoxy into these guys. I'm going to add a little bit of alfresco into my epoxy just just because, you know, especially in the one that's not see-through, I wanted to add a little bit of a shine to it. So I'm going to add a bit of this and this additive into my epoxy. And again, super simple. After I get that all mixed in, I'm just going to add a little bit to the inside of my keychain and get it all spread out to the edges, making sure that everything is nice and covered. Do you have to use regular epoxy for this process? No, you could use UV resin if you'd like to, completely up to you guys. I just wanted to use regular epoxy because I don't have too much UV resin left. So I, <laughs> I really need to purchase some more before I completely run out. And did you even have to epoxy over top of this lettering? No, but if you don't plan on epoxying over it, I really don't know about uh, sanding it because it would kind of, it scratches up the surface a bit. So you wouldn't want to do that because you'd be able to see it. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and put the epoxy over top of it. And I wanted to add a little bit of glitter into it. And you could also inlay other things into it too, if you wanted to do it this way. You know, if you're doing a beachy type one, you could put little shells in there and everything. You know, completely just let your imagination flow when it comes to making these. And after I get it all filled in with the epoxy, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly hit it up with my torch, popping any little micro bubbles, and then I'm going to let everything sit here and cure overnight before I move on to doing anything else with them. So moving on to the next decals I want to do, I'm going to put my name on the back side of the other the other two rhinestone ones. There we go. So this warp tool is actually in beta. So whenever something says it's in beta, that means it's not, there's still going to be some issues with it. So it's going to take a while. It's going to lag a bit. It, it might not work properly because again, it's in beta. So once it's out of beta, it should work properly. I did have moments where it took a little too long for certain things, but it's all good. So all you want to, I really like this. This is what everybody's been doing. And you can actually go down to the bottom after you choose the kind of weird design you want to do. And you can actually adjust how wavy you want it to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and adjust that to how wavy I want it to be. And of course, I'm going to need to shrink this, the gap in between my words here. So that way it's not so separated apart. I want it a little bit tighter together. So it's really simple. It's just a simple click and adjust and there you go. And you have your, your wavy words, like that's really popular right now. And there's all kinds of different ones in there. Again, just type stuff in there, play around with it. And again, let your imagination flow when it comes to this. So again, you know, you don't want to do letter space. I clicked on the wrong one. It's right next to it. It's line space, so you're just gonna adjust that gap until it's the size that you would like it. So I wanted these to go sideways on my keychain, so I measured that to 2.14 inches in length, there we go, and 1.07 in height. So that's what I'm gonna cut those in, and I'm gonna use a holographic vinyl, which you'll see there, and a hot pink vinyl. So these are, again, our permanent vinyls, and I'm not going to put anything over top of these after I get these applied down to my keychains. I'm just going to put the holographic rose goldy one on the purple one that I got there. So cute. I really love how these turned out. They're just so easy to do, I tell you. I really like how these colors turned out together. Super pretty. And to make sure that those vinyls are going to get stuck down to get those glues activated, I'm just going to take my my hair dryer here, my handy dandy hair dryer, and kind of heat up the vinyls and press, make sure everything's nicely pressed down on the back. Well, these two are definitely my favorite. Not, not just because it has my, my, <laughs> my business name on there, but look at that. That is so cute. I love how these look. So, so pretty. And they're really hefty. They like really have a nice feel to them. You know, they feel heavy. That's nice. So I really like how these turned out and I hope you guys enjoy making them as well. Well, those are just so easy to do. So we had the hot pink one the blue one super cute and I used all the new glitters from last month's chaos box and these if you guys remember I'll make sure I put everything in the description 
in the description box for you guys but look how cute this is like probably my favorite I love that so so cute I love those colors and then this one now I gotta make bangles for to match everything. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> so before I go, I bought some more of those Stanley dupe looking tumblers. I bought these ones from Mother Tumblers and I wanted to show you guys real quick. So they come in a box like this, okay? It has the color on the top. These are sublimatable for those who enjoy, enjoy doing sublimation. They are sublimatable. And of course the handles and everything come off just like everywhere else so you can customize them. They come in these plastic bags like this. Real, real pretty and sturdy plastic bag. And these, I have to say, are definitely more like a Stanley. Has the full handle, big 40 ounce. It has the lid that uh, rotates around like that. The plastic lid that rotates around just like that, okay? Uh, screw top lid, screw top lid. But look at the pretty colors. So this is like a shiny holographic light pink, cute. Then there's a teal. I think there was other there was a there was other colors too they had that she had. So I'll I'll make sure to attach it below. And then this really pretty hot pink. So I got these three colors. Aren't those cute? So what really set me off with these was uh, the owner of the company. I think her name's Tiffany. Uh, she posted in her Facebook group how she took like the lid to the blue one. She put it on to the hot pink because uh, blue teal and hot pink go together so she switched it up like that and I was like that is so adorable and then I do believe she even took the handle off and put it on so like totally mix and matched it which was absolutely so so cute so I can't wait to do something with these I'm thinking of doing that too because I really loved that look I, I love that kind of mismatched look to it so again I'll put these in the description box for you guys and we'll see where this will take us and I also talked to you guys about doing that that board, doing the board with the weight. I'm gonna do a beach look on, on that that board that we talked about. And I'm still so nervous about it. I'm still looking into it. I wanna make sure that I do it at least somewhat right. So I'm still kind of like looking into that, but I'm hoping next Sunday, if not next Sunday, the Sunday after, depending on if I'm here for my vlog next Sunday, uh, I think we're gonna get it started. Okay, <laughs> so I'm a little nervous, but excited. I don't know, but should I make it into just a wall art, a clock? I don't know, should I make it into a charcuterie board? What do you guys think? Let me know. All right guys, well, I think that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.